All right. Well, in this video, what I'm going to try to do is explain the whole process as simply as I can. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of naysayers out there, a lot of people who don't believe in this. So, uh, what we're doing is we are taking water, just plain, you know, distilled water. You want to make sure you get distilled because that way it is just pure H2O, doesn't have anything else in it. And then we're mixing an electrolyte with it. In this case, we are doing potassium hydroxide, which is also known as caustic potash, uh, lye. You know, you mix that with the water, and that makes your electrolyte solution. You know, it just looks like water, but careful, don't drink it, it's poison. Um, you put that into your primary reservoir, and that feeds into the generator, as you can see. The generator consists of, or this one anyways, consists of five stainless steel plates. One of them is positive, one of them is negative, the other three are neutral. What's happening is the electrical current is jumping through the electrolyzed water and the process splits the molecules of the H2O and it essentially creates H2O2 or hydroxy gas. It's both hydrogen and oxygen gas combined. You can see the generator feeding back into the reservoir which acts as the primary bubbler. The gas comes up, out, and then goes back into the bottom of the secondary bubbler also known as the scrubber. The purpose of that is it cleans any impurities out of the gas, uh, cools it down a little bit more. This will also act as a flash arrestor. If for any reason <clears throat> the uh, explosion comes back down the lines, basically this cap's just going to pop off and that's it. Um, you can see it coming down the hose. This little device right here is what's called, you know, jokingly an HAometer or HHOometer. Basically just gauges how much gas you have coming out. Now I'm not sure if you can actually see that. Get a little closer. You can see that gas coming out of the tube. That is the hydroxy gas, hydrogen and oxygen. So what I'm gonna do now is measure, see how quickly this generator at uh, just about 15 amps. So not pulling that much. I'm pulling about half the power that I would if this was actually hooked into my vehicle. So I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. Now I've made everything here. Everything here is made out of recycled materials, trash, uh, the, the few PVC pipe pieces and stuff that I bought at Home Depot for like 30 bucks. Um, so, all right. You can see the bottle filling up. Again, this is only about half speed. So, be going a little bit faster if this was actually in the truck. So at least there you're getting the whole picture. Um, you're seeing the generator working, the electricity flowing through it from the batteries at 15 amps. You can measure it by volts too, but most people just pay attention to it as far as DC amps go. And there is the water separating into hydrogen and oxygen gas. And then again, through the two bubblers and into this. Right. We're at 43 seconds right now, still going, so producing about a liter a minute. This is a one liter bottle, and it's going to take about a minute for the bottle to fill up. You want for, a, you know, this would be good for a four cylinder or a motorcycle, excellent for a motorcycle. Uh, for a V6 or a V8, you want to pull three plus liters a minute, so you want a much larger cell that can hold a lot more water and take a lot more uh, energy. You can, <clears throat> I mean, you can make these things huge. I've seen a 200 plate, I mean, this is a five plate. 
I've seen a 200 plate HHO generator that was installed in a big rig. A uh, trucker converted his uh, big rig into hydrogen on demand like almost eight years ago and has been running it ever since and he's pretty much doubled the fuel economy of his big rig which you can imagine has put a lot of money in his pocket so alright so there's your full liter I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off and, and you, know, you can see the, the gas pouring out of there that's hydrogen right there hydrogen and oxygen both extremely flammable and what happens is the molecules combine to the fuel molecules of your vehicle it goes right into the fuel intake um, as I showed you in my first video and I don't know, there you go that is the very basics um, I'll start showing you some pictures and some diagrams I'm going to start experimenting actually putting this into my vehicle uh, I'm going to do a test run up to Santa Fe without the generator on and then turn around and do exactly the same drive with the generator on uh, I'm going to show you at the pump how much gas I have to put back into the tank at the end of each trip and for all you naysayers out there if after watching that video you still won't believe it uh, there's nothing else I can say so alright there you go